I own a sword that is worth about 1 billion coins and the proud owner of the first Hyperion in Skyblock. Unfortunately, I'm getting a little bit late to uploading this video and a few people have already made a video about Hyperion. However, no one has made something like this. This sword is the most overpowered and broken sword in all of Hypixel Skyblock. And today, we're going to have a ton of fun with it. This sword, check this out. We have it completely 100% maxed out. With all three of the scrolls, five star recombobulated fuming potato books, check out these magnificent stats, all right? And today we're going to be going into a dungeon and we're going to just show the absolute overpowered, best, broken, insane, I don't even know how else to say this sword in the game. So if you are ready for today's episode, be sure to drop a like down on the video, subscribe as well. We are at 33,000 subscribers as of recording this and your support means the world to me. So without further ado, Let's get in and let me give you a full review on this sword. This sword costs about 1 billion coins to craft. The first and most important thing is to get this Necron's Blade, which requires 24 Wither Catalysts, which is around 50 to 60 million coins. It was around 80 million coins at the time we bought it. Some of these item prices have gone down, and some of them, such as the Necron's Handle, has skyrocketed. You can get a Necron's Handle for around 6 to 700 million coins as of when we purchased it. I think it's dropped down a little bit, but uh, for the sake of the title, it was around 6 or 700 million coins at the time of purchasing it. And then of course the last item is you'll need 8 of these laser eyes, which are around 1 or 2 million coins each. Now that only equals around 7 or 800 million coins. What else is there to add on top of this to make this worth 1 billion? Well, as you can see, we have Sharpness 7 and Giant Killer 7 on the sword. It's a fully maxed out book with a recombobulated and it's fuming potato booked as max as you can get. And it has all three of the scroll abilities. Scrolls were going for around 40 to 50 million coins each when we were looking at making this sword and when I got my hands on it. So yes, this sword is worth about 1 billion coins. It is probably the most expensive sword to craft in the game right now. It's absolutely crazy. So without further ado, let's hop into a dungeon run and see how this thing- So here we are, we're going to be doing a floor 6 today just because I don't exactly have a floor 7 party ready because it's pretty much impossible to do by yourself because of some of the stages. But we are going to be playing here and uh, I'm going to be using the sheep pet for this actually because I want to show you the true power of this and I don't even want to say anything, just- just watch. Do, do I have to say more? Do I really have to say any more than just right-clicking my sword? I mean, the amount of damage and room clearing this sword does is unlike anything we've ever seen. Check this Lost Adventure out, ready? He's dead. I didn't even walk near him. He's dead. You just right-click and everything around you instantly becomes dead. Check this out. All those enemies, gone. Up here, gone, 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 gone. And you can see that we're dealing all of the damage right there, so it isn't me hitting the stuff. And this sword is just not okay. You don't need to worry about anything because nothing can even get to you. Skeleton Masters are a joke. Pretty much anything is a joke. This sword is just... I mean, look at that. We can freeze the Shadow Sauce. We don't even need to freeze it. We can just sit here and butterfly click or right click button. It's so unbelievably broken. The armor I'm currently using is Necrotic and Loving Storm's Armor. Five star recombobulated. Big Brain 5. The maxed out set we can get. I've got... The majority of my talismans recombobulated. All of the uh, un or rares and up have been recombobulated to be better. And I have every single talisman in the game except the hedge money art or the hedge money talisman. So this is pretty much as good as it gets. But honestly, just look at this. I can't even imagine someone using this with a catacombs level higher than mine. I'm currently catacombs and mage 27. So people with catacombs 30, 35, and eventually once people get around to 40. I can't even comprehend how insane this sword is going to be. I don't know how to describe this, but basically pretty much what I had to do to set this sword up was I had to go ahead and get the Necron's Handle, which shoutouts to my, uh, my boy Laricus for helping me out with this. He loaned me a bit of the money, which I ended up paying off within about one day of floor seven carries because we made absolute stonks. If you're wondering where the uploads have been, uh, it's because I've been doing a lot of floor seven carries. And I've made actually hundreds of millions of coins. Like seriously, the amount of floor sevens I've done is insane. And I can't believe I was actually able to get this armor and this sword because of it. So again, 
Uh, massive shout out to Lurkus. I'll, I'll make sure to sub to him. He's almost at 1,000 subs and he completely deserves it. So make sure to do that. I'll make sure to uh, drop his YouTube channel down in the description. So definitely go ahead and check this out. But uh, I mean, I'm going to show you this whole, pretty much this whole run in its entirety because uh, this sword is honestly just so fun to, to use. And I hope it's fun to watch Bomb Chest. Run for it, dude. Run. We can't get hit by it. Oh, check this out. You can also apparently blow up crypts with your uh, homing sheep now if you are a mage class. So that's a pretty uh pretty pog feature they added into Skyblock. Uh, let's go. I need to actually do my job and uh, rush through the blood room because I'm not doing that for some reason. Uh, that's a puzzle. We don't want to do puzzles. We want to be going to the blood room and finding all the mobs there. So we can just do this and look at that. There we go. Already got this. We can do this. And uh, let me show off my pog knowledge of the secrets really quick. So we go in here. It looks like that dude already did that one. So we're going to go over here. We're going to blow it up with our uh, with our sheep. Okay, our sheep's not working. We're going to do this. We're going to drop down. Hopefully it's not a livid fragment I'm missing. I would be very sad if it is, but I'm not going to check because I want to do secrets. Okay. Uh, looks like he's doing them all for me, which is annoying, but you know what? It's okay, bro. I just want to go in the... Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? We're not gonna. We're gonna go find the blood room. Who is it? Who is it? It is Boomer Livid. So we're just gonna do this. We're gonna spam our sword as much as we can. We're gonna grab the frag and dip before we explode. So there we go. Livid Fragment. Easy stonks. Easy one mil. Now let's go ahead. Let's grab the uh, secrets that we missed. I believe there's a Wither Essence up here. Let's go ahead. Let's grab that. And then the chest over on this side. Let's grab that. There we go. But yeah, so... Uh, in the recent days, I have been sweating dungeons, grinding floor 7 for my life, and overall just trying to improve as a player in the dungeon, so hopefully you can uh, you can see that by now. But this sword has just been such a huge help. Is this the room where you go up here? No, it's not. This is the room that has the, um, the thing you, you do the thingy thing where you did the thing. I don't even know, man. I don't even know. I think it's, it's somewhere. Is it up here? Uh, yeah, it's up here. There we go. Oh, there should be like a, uh, a little thing in here. Is there a bat in here as well? No, there isn't. Oh, well. I don't know. I'll leave that for uh, someone else to grab. Oh, maybe it's uh, something in there. Uh, we're going to go clear most of Blood Room because I'm in a random party and I want to show this off. So if you didn't see it already, uh, here's Blood Room. We look down and we just spam our sword. Everything's dead. And we run before we explode into uh, absolutely bits. There we go. Uh, we get some more of those um, TNT, the super boom TNT, so we can explode more crypts, saving us time. But of course, we have the sheep anyway, so it doesn't actually matter all that much. But uh, I'm going to be doing a full kind of review on the entire the entirety of Storm set and the Hyperion in my next video. Today, we're just going to be looking at the Hyperion with the uh, scrolls on it, seeing how much damage it does. And then in the next episode, I'll actually have a video with Lurkus where we actually go ahead, craft this magnificent set, take on a floor seven of our own and see how powerful we can get. So he, in that video, he's going to be using the Necron set and I'll be using the Storm set, of course. So let's finish off Bloodroom real quick. And there isn't really much to show before the boss, so I guess I'll go ahead and cut the rest of the video into the boss, and you can see just how insane this is against all of the terracottas and stuff, which obviously floor 6 is nowhere near as tough as floor 7, but uh, the, the terracottas can be, you know, slightly tanky, where you can't really one-shot, but y you'll see what happens. You'll see the, the power of the set, but mostly I'm just showing its ability to room clear since we're not in a floor 7 right now. But trust me when I say, this thing obliterates anything you throw at it. You'll basically be able to shred anything in under a second except for actually Necron himself. But anything else, you know, pretty much dies instantly. So, uh, yeah, we'll see that. So I'm going to go ahead and collect the rest of the secrets so we can get a good fast run done. And I'll cut back to the boss. Well, check this out. We just got a we just got a, a, a rare drop Silent Death where it's epic. Where it's rare, but once we're out of the dungeon, it'll be epic. That's pretty cool. All right, now I'm actually going to go to the boss. All right, we decided to go in and just take the S. So here we go. Uh, hopefully everyone, everyone stays back, bro. Are you gonna go? Are you killing the- Okay, he's killing the golems. That's fine. So, I'll show you. Uh, for the single click damage- Hold up, hold up. Please, please, get frozen, buddy. The single click damage is still pretty good. Uh, we don't have any attacks, but that's fine. Uh, why are they- Why are they over- Okay, you know what? We're just gonna- da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, hold on. I have to actually look at the ground. There we go. So, you just look at the ground, and their health just absolutely melts. So, I guess- I guess what we can actually do- is we're gonna stand down here hold on i need more mana i need to actually gather my mana to uh to show the full capabilities of this no no, no, no. go back up okay that's fine that's fine so once the terracottas come over here oh, we're gonna wait for them to show up and then ready and they're dead <laughs> this is so good i actually love this sword this is the most overpowered thing in all of skyblock we have to actually quickly get our mana back just before they uh before they spawn, and then we just do it again. 
because we get absorption for every time we block. So we can just sit here, look at all of that damage. All of that damage is me. All right. So uh, luckily this dude has a radiant power orb to place down, but I need more mana. Come on, bro. I'm getting no mana back. What is this? I'm getting absolutely no mana. I'm not gonna be able to kill them again. Come on. Come on. We need mana. We need mana. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we go again. Oh, oh, high pixel. High pixel. High pixel. Don't kill me, bro. Come on. Lag is not even enough to stop us. And they're dead. <laughs> there is absolutely no way we can die. We've slain these things three times in a row. They come back. We just spam our button again. And it's not going to be able to kill me. No matter what we do. And they're all dead again. <laughs> this is not okay. Respawn. There they are. We're going to ice spray them. And then we're going to click them as fast as we can. Oh, wait. They take true damage. Oh, shoot. I forgot. They take true damage. Hold on. Let me heal. Okay, there we go. I forgot. If you uh, ice spray them, they, they do like other kinds of damage. Bro, I feel so bad for Sedan right now. Like, actually. Give me my mana back. All right. Oh, they do way more damage the more we actually hit them. That's so weird. Uh, come on. Die. 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 And we're good. <laughs> Look at all that damage. This is not okay. This is 100% not okay. Okay. Uh, I need to get my mana back for the uh, the giants. Oh, that's not an actual player. Come here. Heal it. Heal it. I gotta, I gotta hit you. I gotta hit you for mana. Come on, bro. I don't, I don't know if you understand. I gotta hit you for mana. We're just gonna mm, die. All right. Oh, I think they, I think they left them run out of range. That's okay. Uh, we'll kill some of them. Hold on. We have to actually go back into, into range of these giants. Oh no, we are out of mana. That's fine. Cause we can backstab them. Cause it's a left click mage weapon. So we can backstab them for mana. Uh, I can actually put the sheep back on right now if I want to, and I'll even do more. So I'll put the sheep on after we, uh, we slid the giants. But this is such an overpowered left and right click mage weapon here so we can throw the sheet back on for the uh sedan fight because sedan's not going to take us out so we can just spam and you can watch his health go down and <laughs> this is just so crazy so we can do this we can just kind of spam his health down and then wait for him to, to do the jumpy thing and while we're waiting for him to do the jumpy thing then we go back up and then we s just absolutely just destroy him again this is so dumb <laughs> two-thirds of the way down i know buddy the only problem is you have to actually look down when you're attacking or else you're like in a teleport because they have te but there we go that was our, what was it, our 100th Sedan Guild. Take him out. We'll take the 288. Uh, you can see my uh, loot here if those of you are interested. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to make any profit from this, which is fine. But there we go. So that was the sword. I'll go ahead and I'll cut to my final review, final thoughts of this. So all in all, the most expensive thing I own is this Hyperion sword, and it is the most powerful item in the game. Some people may say that the Valkyrie sword is better, and I'm actually going to disagree with that because of the fact that the Hyperion gives actual intelligence on its sword. If I show these stats again, I will show that the Hyperion is much better for the scroll abilities, which is going to be doing the most damage to most of these things. Uh, if you're looking to use a Valkyrie, then of course you're going to have more ferocity, which means it's going to do more left click damage. But for those of you running mage and want to use the sword's right click scroll abilities, which I prefer by far, uh, go ahead and get the Hyperion Sword, which is my personal preference. And this is just the most overpowered thing in the game. 100%. I have no doubts this was worth it. This was worth every single coin that was spent on it. And that's just about it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, leave a like if this was fun to watch. Subscribe if I wasn't completely annoying in that over-enthusiastic video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Alright, take care.